the past, ACLU Mississippi Executive Director Jarvis Dorch says there's been a low voter turnout, especially in state elections. They may turn out for president um, in 2020 or 2016, uh, but they don't think they have a voice in who becomes governor. And we've been trying to preach to folks that, you know, this is a tight race. It's always going to be a tight race in Mississippi because of our demographics. But Dorch says voters in Hines County in particular have a huge say in who becomes governor, especially if people come out. The last uh, race for governor was decided by less than 50,000 votes. Uh, there were 95,000 voters in Hines County that didn't come out to vote in that election. The upcoming November 7th election will have several key state races on it, as well as local county races. But a lot of people are looking to the governor's race, given Dorch and the ACLU are pushing people to get out and vote. When everything happens on election day on one day, we know there's going to be challenges, there's going to be issues at the polls. Um, we just want people to you know, cope with what happens and make sure that they stay in line and cast a vote. However, George says it's already difficult enough to get both young and black Americans to the polls. We haven't always had this right. We haven't always had democracy in a voice and it takes time to make change um, and it takes continuous effort to make change. Abney Brewer, a local activist from Madison, is working to get young people out the door on election day. But there's a lot of reasons as to why in the past People haven't voted. Not a lot of people either hear about it or really know it's happening. It's also a little confusing to register. Uh, you know, you have to you have to get registered a month before, and so that's a process. And sometimes it's hard for people to get off of work. While voter registration is closed for the upcoming election, you can call your circuit clerk's office to find out if you're registered to vote. That was Madeline Nolan reporting. For in-person absentee voting, you can visit your county circuit clerk's office beginning October 28th. The last day for in-person absentee voting will be November 4th. Election day is November 7th. And on November 1st, you can catch the two gubernatorial candidates go head-to-head -head in a live debate right here on 16 WAPT. That debate will air at 7 p.m. Viewers are invited to submit questions for the candidates by emailing a WABT editorial at hearst.com through the news tip function in the WABT mobile app or through a direct message on the WABT Facebook page.